Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can install 5PD on Zap Hosting, which is one of the main questions I get like 99% of the time when I'm here. Anyway, um, so we're going to be taking a look on how you can install 5PD for it. It is significantly different than installing it on localhost. Um, so if you haven't known, Zap Hosting is like the main 5M server provider. They, they're like the only official ones that 5M allows to set up game servers and stuff. Um, so if you decide to go with them, this is how you would install 5PD. I will also be going over videos on how to do it on a VPS and OV, OVH like dedicated server in a few weeks. But today we're going to be going over how to install it on uh, Zap Hosting because a lot of people do use them. Um, so the three things you're going to need for this is you're going to need your Zap Hosting server. You're going to need 5PD, whichever is the latest version for you. For me, it's 1.1.4, but it may have changed in the future. The install is exactly the same. And you're going to need WinSCP or FileZilla. Personally, I like WinSCP. It's a lot better for me. Um, so that's what I'll be using in the video. And you, to download that, you just go to the download page linked in the description, and you'll click the download button. It will go ahead and then download the EXE, run through the startup, and when you're done, you should have a thing pop up like this. And this is what's going to pop up when you open it. We'll go over what that does a little bit later. The other thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download the latest version of 5PD. Just go ahead and click download and agree and download. Um, it will go ahead and download the latest version and you're going to open this with WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever you use to uh, zip files or unzip files, that's what you're going to use. And you're going to need the two files in here. You're going to need the pd.sql and the 5PD folder. And you can read through all the user agreements and um, information as well if you're interested in that. Alright, so that is what you have to do to get started. So the things you have to do to get started is download WinSCP, download 5PD and get it open, and have your 5M 5, 5, um, web zap hosting server ready to go. Now the first thing we have to do when we are on our Zap Hosting page is we're actually going to scroll down and when we're scrolling down we're going to go all the way to the tools section down here and you're going to use these two browsers. You're going to use the FTP browser and the database um, tabs here. The first thing we're going to do is actually install 5PD through FTP um, and that is a file type system browser which we're going to get the data from here and open up WinSCP to connect to it. So you're going to click FTP browser. This is going to take you to a new page, which is going to give you these details. It's going to give you the FTP host, port, username, and password. Obviously, these are all changed by the time you're watching this video, and the server no longer exists by the time you're watching this video. So please do not try to connect to these. They won't work. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open WinSCP here. And when we're in here, you're going to click this new session button on the top left-hand corner, and it's going to open something like this. And it's going to ask you the file protocol, the host name, port number, username, password. This is where we're going to get this info. So we're going to copy the FTP host here, and we're going to post paste that in the host name. We're going to take the port, and we see it's port 21, so we're just going to switch it to 21, and you can see it's automatically changed to some of the other things here. We're going to take the username, which is BGHD development in this case, and we're going to paste that in here. And we're going to take the password, and we're going to click to copy this one and paste it in. When you are ready, you're just going to go ahead and click login, and it will go ahead and connect and start. In here, you'll see you got your game server uh, folder here. And what you want to do is you want to double click on this game folder. And this is going to take you to another folder where you'll double click on the GTA 5-5M folder. And then inside of this folder, you can see you have your map and server dash data. Double click on server dash data, and you'll actually get to where you need it to go. And then inside of this folder, you can see you have your server.cfg and your resources folder. Double click under the resource folder, and it will open into where you're going to drag in that 5PD file. So we're going to drag in the whole folder. Make sure to not rename the folder all you want to do is drag in the full folder into this location and this will now import 5pd into the folder and into your server we're not done yet we have to do a little bit more configuring once we have it all dragged in but what we're going to do first is we're just going to wait for this to drag in completely and it should only take about 15 to 20 seconds depending on your internet um, sometimes it's faster sometimes it's slower it just depends on the internet on both sides so we'll just give it an extra second here and we'll be done um, and we can move on to the next step. So there we go. So we have installed it successfully. Now, if you double click the 5PD folder, but keep this in mind, you're going to need the 5PD.SQL file in the future. So make sure to drag that file to your desktop before closing your WinRAR. So keep that file safe before we're going we're gonna to need it in a moment. But in here, you can see double click 5PD, you got all your files, including the config.json, which we'll be configuring momentarily. So make sure to keep that in mind. We're going to head back to the web interface now, and we're going to scroll down because this is what we have to do next. If we're going to scroll down under to tools and you can see databases, go ahead and click on this. 
this is where we're going to get our PHP my admin so you can see all your details are here for PHP my admin and you're gonna click this little manage button it's like a little blue window circle thing and this will go ahead and open a PHP my admin location and with the username and password here you're gonna take that from this other page so you're gonna take the user which is normally zap some number dash one so just copy that and paste it in username and you're gonna click password and copy that password and paste it in where it says password and then you're gonna click go this will now connect you to the PHP my admin system for zap hosting on your database now in here you're gonna click over on the left hand side you're gonna click the thing that matches your database name which is zap 5809 whatever so you're gonna click this now using that SQL file, the 5PD SQL file you saved on your desktop a few steps ago. You're going to go to the import page and the next thing you're going to do is just drag that SQL file onto this page and it's going to go ahead and say success 5PD.SQL uploaded. If you click back now, you can see that all of the 5PD things have connected. Now we actually have to sync our database and our 5PD. So you're going to go back and we're going to use these details in our WinSCP to edit. So we're going to open WinSCP and we're going to right click on the config.json file. We're going to then click edit. This will open either with Notepad or Notepad++ depending on what you have installed. I recommend Notepad++, but obviously it's up to you what you use. So these are at the top here, you can see database. This is all the info we're going to save. So we're going to make this kind of half screen, half screen, but you're going to copy your server IP and that's going to be your IP for the database. So we're going to copy this in and we're going to put that under the host in 5PD's configure file. Then we're going to go back and we're going to take the database name and this is going to go under the database section of that config file. And then we're going to take the username and password again and we're going to paste that in. Keep the port as 3306 because that is default MySQL ports. Save this file and go ahead and close out from the file and you're good to go. That's all the configuring required. You can obviously make any changes you want otherwise. The next thing we gotta go is scroll down and you're gonna go to where you see FTP browser again. We're gonna go back to this page and we have one more step to do here. You can see where it says this little blue loading sign here and this red thing that says you have to set the FTP permissions otherwise stuff may not work. So keep that in mind. So before starting your server, click the set FTP permissions button. This may take a moment, but it will set the FTP permit permissions to allow uh, 5PD and everything to work successfully. If you don't do this, it could break. Keep that in mind and you have to do this every time you change a file on FTP. Now the last thing we actually have to do, which I actually messed up originally on, is you have to scroll down under to settings and click configs. This will allow you to, you have to go through this Cloudflare thing, but once you get through this, we have to add one line to your server.cfg file. And please note you have to edit the server.cfg through this panel here, otherwise some stuff may reset. Um, so make sure your server is off and then inside of the server.cfg file you're just going to click this little blue icon with the pen and it will allow you to go ahead and edit it. So I'm going to do that momentarily. There we go. I'm going to open this file and it may take a moment to load but then you're going to see these resources will start by default and you're just going to add another line below it and add start 5pd. So just start 5pd there and then you're just going to go ahead and save the file at the bottom and it will take a moment to load but then you are good to start your server so next thing you have to do is just go ahead and start your server by clicking the play button on the side and now i'm going to go ahead and launch 5pd or 5m um, and you want to copy your ip address from this page to go ahead and load in you're going to go ahead and click play and then you're going to copy in that ip you had from the zap hosting it could take a second to load and you just go ahead and click connect just like you normally would with any other 5m server um, it may take a moment to load, but we do see right when we are loading in momentarily, um, you're going to see that we have the 5PD loading screen, which is a great sign considering we're installing 5PD. The way to make sure this works completely is to load into the server, make sure 5PD appears in the top left hand corner, and you can use the F11 menu to go on duty. So that's what we're going to be doing momentarily. So this is way easier than localhost, though it does cost money per month, you just have to keep that in mind. So once you are in, you can see 5PD is in the top left hand corner, and if we go ahead Head and press F11 it will go ahead and open up the duty menu ignore that um, extra menu that popped up that was a graphics pack but there we go so we are on and off duty we are good to go hopefully this did help you and I will see you in tomorrow's video so see you all then enjoy 5pd